Chef Ken, let's say one of the things that we, we want to make sure we have on our menu is a great fried chicken product. And one of the key pieces in terms of delivering that great fried chicken product is, what am I going to use as a fryer? So for me, I'm looking at how many people are doing fried chicken out there, right? And there's so many people doing it. So how can I differentiate myself? Like you said, I'm immediately going to look at pressure fryers and genuine broaster chicken, right? It, it's been around for so long that, and, and people know that name, that people will drive that extra mile to go get it. And, you know, Broster really has some really easy uh, ways to prepare it. And from a labor standpoint and everything, it makes a lot of sense. The pressure fryers will keep your chicken moist and juicy. It travels well. You could add uh, tenders and wings and really build yourself a whole platform of menu items out of one piece of equipment. It really has the opportunity to boost not only your dine-in sales, but also your takeout sales. So. You know, I, 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 it's real, I think it's really easy to understand when you pressure fried chicken, it's a great product. It's succulent, it's juicy, and so on and so forth. But why else would I choose a pressure fryer? It is more expensive, so obviously I want to get a return on that investment. So you're going to be more efficient labor-wise. You know, your, ch your chicken's going to cook faster. You're going to have a better hold time because it's going to seal those natural juices in. So you really can be more productive. Your, your team, they could be doing other things. They could be doing temperatures, and they can be taking care of a customer, restocking the line, sweeping. Really, they can do a lot of those things that they save in that five minutes here, five minutes there, really, really adds up through the course of the day. Really, what it comes down to, too, is if you're serving an awesome product, people will come. The more people will come, the more you'll sell, you'll get there and, and it'll be it'll pay for itself uh, over time. Um, so, yeah. Why don't you talk a little bit about that, how you think about selection, both size as well as whether I choose a conventional model or a premium. Typically, I would look more into the 1800 and 2400, which would be a four head or four chicken unit or a R2400, which is a six to eight head unit. We do also offer a 1600 that cooks two chickens at a time. I would really only go that route if space was really limited. The 1800 um, is really the workhorse. Uh, you can cook, you know, four chickens at a time. I like the idea of having two 1800s versus one bigger fryer because I can cook less more often and really keep the product fresh. The 2400 is great when you're doing catering and because you can cook 60 plus pieces of chicken at one time. So it, it really depends on, on what you're doing. You know, if from a catering standpoint, if all you're doing is chicken, I'm looking at a 2400. When you're looking at the, the models, you know, we have our E-Series 18 or ES18. Um, that has a few more bells and whistles on it. Onboard oil top off. Both units have onboard filtration available, so no wheeling over a filter cart or anything like that. But you know, the E-Series is, is the upper end of the spectrum on there. But you know, the 1800, for example, has been around for a long time. It's, it's a tried and true fryer and it's a workhorse. When you think about Broster and our pressure fryers, what are the couple of the Royal Inherit kind of advantages that stand out for you as you think about our pressure fryer lineup? So for me, it, it's the round pot nice even temperatures in there. You don't really have those cold zones. With it being round, it's easy to clean. You don't have to get any corners or, or crevices. And in general, when I'm out in the field, I see roaster pressure fryers that are still in use that are working great, that are, you know, 20, 30. There's a visit we did not too long ago where the fryer was older than I was and the thing was still working wow, okay. like magic. So um, they're really built to last if they're taken care of. And, um, you know, that, that to me is a uh, a big advantage. Plus, you know, when you need support, you get a hold of one of us, not an 800 number or anything like that. You'll talk to somebody that really cares and wants to get you what you need. No, no, I, that's well said. Hey, at the end of the day, per your point, you know, a fryer, fryers that are out there 10, 15, 20, 25 years, they're durable, they're reliable. You long, you paid back that investment probably in year one. So all of that is gravy or money. Huh?